Alright, so I just have to make sure that we are all hooked up and ready to go with the mic. Alright y'all, welcome to the channel. My name is Chu. If you don't know me, I'm a music producer. If you do know me, I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you're new, hit subscribe. We have hella tutorials, hella free content, hella free shit, hella dope merch. So definitely come check it out. If you are a regular attendee, shout out notification gang, shout out discord gang. What is good with y'all? I hope you guys are having an excellent day. I hope you guys are blessed. It's about 9 a.m. in the morning here. I woke up. And I saw a comment that really bothered me, man. I saw a comment saying that you guys want some help making some bouncy drum patterns. And I can definitely, I can definitely help you guys out with that. I can definitely put y'all on some sauce that is going to help you make some dope, uh, dope drum patterns. So the f I'm going to list out five basic things that you need to make dope drum patterns. You need a bouncy melody. You need a beefy main sounding drum sound, such as a clap or a heavy snare. You need some really good accent perks, and then you need a hard-hitting kick, and then you need some slamming 808s. So basically five very basic things. Um, so I'm just gonna jump in, I'm not gonna waste any time. Get your dope content-only wristbands. If you haven't gotten one, they're still in stock. They're very dope, a lot of people have got them. I've shipped out a few, and I'm shipping out a bunch more today, but let's get started. So the loop I'm gonna be working with will be from my new shadow ball loop kit um so i'm just gonna pick like a random loop so we can just jump right into it because the loop isn't the most important part it just has to be a good loop So not a bad drum pattern, as you can see, not a bad melody loop, my bad. We have drum patterns next, I was getting a little bit excited. Um, but as you can see, not a bad loop, it's got some decent bounce to it. It's got, it's got its own rhythm to it, which is very essential when you're trying to make a beat that sounds bouncy. Um, it's essential that your melody has bounce, it can't sound robotic, it can't sound monotonous. Um, it's gotta have energy, it's gotta have a life of its own. So, the next thing you wanna do, is add a very fire and this will work just fine very fire OMG hold on give me one second so yeah what you want to do is add a heavy hitting sound such as a clap or a snare something like this would have worked but you also could use say a snare if you want or you know, you can use whatever you want. It just has to be something that is going to be your main drum sound. And then you're going to put it on the three of every, of every bar. So I'm going to use this clap for my Jodo Lee drum kit. And I'm just going to do every third beat. And it's that simple. Sometimes simplicity is the key. Simplicity is the key. All the complicated shit you hear is just that, it's complicated shit. This is normally what people are doing. You see how we're getting there already? A lot of people just start out like this because it's the simplest way to get your groove, but then they end up sticking with this because it's just the best, it's, it's the best route to go. Simplicity is sometimes just the best thing to do. So next what you want to do is get some really good accent perks. So for that, I'm going to go to the centerfold drum kit and I'm going to use one that I almost always use. And I'm going to use actually one of the snares. I'm going to use this centerfold snare. I'm going to come in here. So what you want to do with these accent perks is just add them all in like this. And you'll, you'll notice 
this drum pattern as soon as I start playing it. And this is the typical way all accent drums are, are situated. So once you have this, you can kind of break it down. You can make something very unique. But this is almost always how I start with my accent drums. Um, and then I just come in and I break it down later. So almost always I will take this out. Take that out. Take that out. So now that's even more groovy. That's even more bouncy. So next you want to add a hard hitting kick and now we're basically done you see how easy it is and you know we're going to the center full kick that's easy money here you can pretty much do what you want with your kick this is where you can get a little bit more unique so basically i keep the very very simple things very very simple i keep the first few things very very simple and then i'll come in and be more unique with say my heavier drum sounds like the 808 and the kick um, so here I'm going to try to make something of a unique pattern, but still keep it not too crazy. So one thing that I didn't actually include in the accent sounds is the hi-hats. I definitely consider hi-hats to be an accent sound. So what I will do, I'll, something that I do a lot is I add two hi-hats. I'll add one and I'll add two. And the first one will be very normal, like a two-step pattern, and the second one will be a four-step pattern. So what I'll do with the two-step pattern is I'll come in and I'll make the first four something like this with the velocity. Then I'll connect all the notes with a control L, control plus L is the shortcut. Then I'll delete all of these, oh my bad, I'll delete all of these except the first four that I edited by highlighting all of them and then clicking control uh, plus X and I'll delete all of them. Then I'll use control B to duplicate this first pattern over until it's to the end. So now you get a little bit of bounce with this drum pattern, with this hi-hat pattern, then you can go one step further and you can go to this little drop down menu here, go to tools, go to randomize, and then you can randomize the pan just a little bit. And you can then, you can take it even one step further and you can come here and let's just do half step. And you can come add some more hi-hat variation to your pattern. So let's say I wanna do it on this clap right here. So I would highlight this note and then I would come here and do control plus U and it would chop it on the half. And you can do that with, with any type of chopping pattern. So I could come back and do like a, like a three, like a six step. Then you can come in and basically do the same thing here. So you're gonna do the same thing, edit the first four, connect them, duplicate them over, and then just be fancy with the way, this is where you add your own sauce. This is another place where you add your, well, you, you, where you will add your own sauce, accent, drums, and heavier drum, sounding drum sounds. So I don't want that there. Last thing we can do is add the 808, baby. 
and we already know what this is tuned to because we use it so much. And then we're just going to edit the envelope so that it starts and stops exactly where we want it to. And we should be good to go. So first thing we need to do is find the key of the sample. So I'm going to turn all of this off just besides the 808 so that I can hear it. And then we're just going to mess around with it. So with the 808, if you've been as complicated as I was with the hi-hats and with some of the perks, then maybe you want to keep the 808 a little simple. So what I think I'm going to go for here is a very simple 808 pattern that's hitting basically everywhere that the kick is hitting. And then I might do some basic sliding um, on some areas where the kick is not hitting just to kind of give the pattern, the drum pattern a little bit more energy. Was that C, C sharp, D flat? Um. basically it that's basically it so i know i probably didn't do the best job of explaining what i did but let me try to recap it very very quickly um in case it didn't make sense because i know i was moving quickly um so the first thing is bouncy melody you gotta have a bouncy melody gotta have a good melody i say it a million times on this channel if you have shitty sounds then you've already lost the battle once you do that you want to have a solid sounding beefy sounding sound that's going to be your main drum sound that's hitting on the three of every every three beat so here, that was that clap. 
the Pidgey Clap from the Jota League drum kit. Then we have an accent snare from the Centerfold drum kit. So if I could split all of this into a channel real quick and show you how everything is hitting. So this is the clap. And then I soloed, I, I silenced it. I put that one, I made that one quiet. <laughs> I, uh, I muted it, there we go. It's like, what is the word for that? So then next. Here's the kick. Very simple. Hard, hard hitting kick. Also included in the accent sounds. I'm sorry I didn't include these initially, the hi-hats. And then the second hi-hat. And then, of course, the Fire 808, which you boys came for. And let's put it all together one more time. sloppy hopefully in post-production i can make it look a lot better for you guys so that you can understand it if i didn't i'm really really sorry don't roast me in the comments um i'll lace you with a much better video shortly thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you watching if you learned anything at all or just thought it was a dope cook up hit that subscribe button hit that like button especially hit the like button it means a lot to me the support is amazing i love you guys so much but until next time stay happy stay healthy and always be creating just make sure it's dope content only peace and get some wristbands <laughs> <laughs>